Hey, this is Rebecca, and I just wanted to pop in a really quick video. I was working on some books today, and a lot of times I have templates and I need to resize them because I'm just scaling out something, especially blank books like this. Uh, so maybe I have created them in one size. In this case, these are eight and a half by 11. They're uh, with bleed on them, but I want to make a six by nine notebook and I don't want to redo the whole doggone thing, right? So it's already in a PDF format and I use Adobe Pro and you know, there's all these kind of complicated steps. You go to pre-flight, then you click on this and then you click on that. And it's actually, I'll leave the links to this document here for anybody who's using Adobe uh, Pro. But, you know, there's always easier ways to do something. So I'm always about fast and easy. And I found this uh, online program called DocuPub. And it makes it so simple. It's like a one-step process. Now, I'm sure there's probably other free tools that are out there. Probably I love PDF and small PDF might also have uh, resizing tools. You have to say resize page re or scale page because most of the resizing programs talk about compressing the file and resizing the file itself. So you have to ask to scale the page, but it's really super simple. All I have to do is choose my file I'll take my eight and a half by 11. It loads it up right here. Then all I have to do is go custom page size, go here to inches, and I want to make it a six by nine. Now, sometimes I use bleed, but in this case, I'll just make it six by nine for the sake of, of making it super easy for folks. And you click upload and resize. Now I haven't seen that there's any page or size constraints. It has an upload limit of 20 megabytes per file. So that's a pretty good size file. So just be aware of that. And then I just click up so upload and resize. It takes a couple of seconds to think and it pops it out. I just click on that. And then I will save it. I already saved, saved uh, my test before, but we're going to open it in Adobe. We'll go six by nine test. We'll go save. I'll go open that file. Here's my test document. We'll click on that. Open it in Adobe and boom, six by nine. This was my other test one that I did. So I went from eight and a half by 11 to six by nine and it scaled it perfectly. Now you're going to have to experiment, but I have used this now with a couple of things that have complex interiors. Uh, letter planners and things like that and it seems to have worked fairly seamlessly so all you just have to do is uh, be aware of your file size um, and make sure your file isn't too big because here's your constraints but 20 megabytes is a pretty good sized file so have fun this really is liberating because it means that you can go from you know, having one size to another size and scale your books to different sizes pretty quick. And then you just keep those um, files that you have to use again and again and again. Hopefully this tip was helpful for you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.